So welcome everyone to Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, this will be part one. It's going to start the story now. Um, this will be all live gameplay. Um, so what you see is what I'll be seeing and I'll be reacting to it straight away. Uh, it's going to be like raw gameplay. Um, I will be quiet through the cutscenes, uh, so I won't be talking through that. And hopefully, let's say we will enjoy this. Possibly the most biggest and most in-depth world ever created. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get into it. See, it's just a bit of text at the moment. And like I say, let me know what you think of the the episode down below. Um, and if you like it, I'll obviously we'll do more. Red Dead Redemption 2. Can't wait to get into this. It looks like we're in the snowy mountains. says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. That Davy Ranch, buddy. Character. You know. Arthur Morgan. An old man in town. Bandits. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Oh, the weather. It's so detailed. It looks like we've been on the run. And we've added up into the mountains to get rid of the law. Chapter 1, Coulter. Quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was oh dear. nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. <coughs> well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you are going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike a scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out. See if we can find one of them. This? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. 
but we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We right, need we you go. strong. Okay. Terrible storm. Come on. Let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more snow. like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. I just feel cold looking at it. Careful over this bridge here. Oh, everything's so detailed. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Who is that? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow <laughs> me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Look how real these snow physics are. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. 
He'll be fine. <laughs> Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope <laughs> Mac we and know. Sean are still out there somewhere too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Behind you. Go on. It's a bad storm though, real bad storm. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Oh. There it is. Oh. Okay. Let's head down there. What now, Ooh, not your horse. Come on. Thought we was getting off. Never mind. Got snow on the ground. How it moves so dynamically. Health bar. I wonder if we can get that all the way filled up. Let's hitch up here. Handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Okay, I love the snow. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. <laughs> Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Hello, shut up. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, while well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. It's my thinking. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> Look, there's a corpse right here. Oh, oh God. God. Arthur. Some there's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think oh, you should ready. go now, buddy. 
Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here. No. I'm taking that chance. Upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials: food, medicine, whiskey. Whiskey, yeah. <laughs> oh, Driscoll. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Uh, I'm starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Open satchel. Okay, I'll have... I'll have that. That'll do. I think I've got two of them. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or <laughs> drink it, put it down. So detailed. So keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Anything over here? There's some cabinet. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Anything on the table. Who would have thought they'd put something on the table? No. Let's check up here. Oat cakes. Revolver cartridge. Nice. Got everything? stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Okay. A horse in here. Oh, Master Chopper, cut! Well, he started it. I'm gonna break your neck. 
Pretty well. Oh, nice. Snaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Ooh. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, we have the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you <clears throat> bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna choke him. No witnesses. And my hat. Yeah, give me my hat back. Oh, the horse. Easy. It's okay. Easy. You're okay. Oh. Yes, boy. Lead the horse. Come on, boy. Just a bit. Oh, I'll let him on here. Get away from the hell, what's up? Monster, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, the guy found in the cellar. Why do you think he ate you? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them or Driscoll's. No, she ain't. Michael, look at her. Miss, miss. Are you Oh, yes. Now, it is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Wow. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And father's been. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. It's going down. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss? Adler. Adler. Oh. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... Sadie Adler. He was my husband. What an opening. Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! Put that gun down. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found... Some of them there. There is more about, apparently. 
Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. <laughs> You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk <laughs> next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Wow. Enter sued. He ain't been by seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur. Abigail. How you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but. It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. I like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Oh. Really? Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. <laughs> well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. I'm seeing no. There's some tracks leading to the river. Cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed it's fine. Your thing. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Yeah, good boy. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. <laughs> Tracks go left, down here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. 
I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Very bad. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's really coming, isn't it? Horse just moves though, that's like, so careful it's getting narrow here. Realistic. It's hard to move in the snow though. Definitely feel that. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Mm. Almost there, boy. Come on now. Boy. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? Yeah, something. Is it a body? God. John was horse. riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's, Let's see if he can hear us. Oh. Come on. Up there. That was John. Yeah. Oh. He's coming from up ahead somewhere. John. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. No. Have to walk from here. I grab that shotgun from them. your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Okay. Oh, that one. You getting that gun, then? Come on. Let's go. Lead the way. Sure about this. Over here. Oh. It's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. Very slippy down here. Oh. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. Careful. There's a drop here. Careful here. Watch your head here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. It's real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. What do you eat here? Steve, that sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. I just feel so cold watching it. Feel it. Ooh. Where Let's is it? It's got to be down. It's got to be Come down on. here. John, where are you? John! 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 John, can you hear me? Marston, you hear me? 
That's John. We're coming. Over here. Where is he? He's down here. Hey! All right. Hot down, Marston. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Poor John. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, <laughs> I told that you weren't the right man for this. I'm mm. sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. It's in the middle of nowhere. Oh. Look up there. Oh god. Leave us alone. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Look at the blood on my shoulder. Alright, John, come on. Snow. Let's get you on that horse. Where are they? A few scratches. Oh, my face. Jesus, my face. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. Where's my hat? What's my? What's my hat? I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. Hmm. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. <laughs> Don't we know it? There, boy. Up there? Four of them. What? Come 
knock John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? No one's coming. Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. <laughs> You're alive. You're alive. All right, here we go. There we go. Hey, oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank Where's you, my hot soul, right? Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> Not at all. You're very welcome. We have been running for weeks. Wow. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. Right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to end this episode. And I'll get part two up a little bit later. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it so far. Um, we're getting into it. Graphics are amazing. Um, so yeah, if you liked this part one, be sure to give it a like. Um, and yeah, part two will be up very shortly. So I'll see you for that one. Bye guys.